Hello to my Sunset First Impressions. Uh, I've kind of only done a First Impressions video, but it was just like screenshots on Twitter. Um, but this is... or X, I guess. Um, but this is me like, running around the map. Um, I generally I think that, generally I think the map looks quite cool. Uh, we're going to start off with looking at B. Uh, like on our own B. So this jump up here is kind of useless, I feel like. I don't feel like you're going to really get much value out of it. Maybe on like this over here, you might get value out of this angle. Other than that, I don't know if you would actually get much value at this angle because I don't see attackers like going up into this area very often. Um, I don't know to be fair, but uh, cause I haven't played this map in ranked or anything. Um, there's a jump up here that um, will like, you, well, you need to have a boost, um, which isn't like, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, they've made like a box like this that you need a boost on. Um, that isn't like, big, like, up in the up in, like in your face on the side, I guess. But it can also help with like. Like getting the type of angles, like it's gonna be really, really good. Have like a defender maybe sitting on top of here, especially because you can also cover yourself like this, or you can play an off angle like this. You can even have someone play another off angle over here if you want to as well on the same angle. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think generally this map is kind of inspired by Breeze as well. You can definitely tell they were reworking Breeze at the same time, um, because this B site is like fairly similar. Like there's like the tunnel over there for Breeze, and there's the diagonal section with like, the B main. Um, and then the, the site is like one pillar with like a, a site all around it. And obviously there are big parts missing of the Breeze site. It's not, you know, complete copy, but it's like an inspired inspiration type, um, map, like type map, type, uh, type site. And then we have like this like little box and then the, the orb over there with another box uh, for the attackers to use. Um, generally, I think this orb is going to be a very attack sided orb, even though it is close to defenders right off the bat. I don't see defenders ever taking this space. In reality with all the util um, and i don't think there's any like real reason for defenders to contest part either so i think if the attackers could probably just throw like two bits of util maybe even one and they'll take this space for the orb uh, pretty easily i think um which is all kind of uh, impacting something else so then we've got this part here there's, there's a window here to throw util through and then there's like another one of these boxes um, and then there's a one-way door, so you can... Okay, I've already broke the door. Um, but yeah, because I was running around already. Um, but yeah, you, you can open this door from one way, but you can't close it from one way. So you can't, like, open it on this side. So you have to, like, break it if on this side. I mean, it's not that much of a difference, to be real. Um, not, like, massively, in probably in, re in reality, but it looks quite cool. It looks quite different. Um, it just means, I think, that you can't, like... But what happens is, is that defend like attackers can't like walk through mid or like contact mid, even though I don't think that would actually happen in reality either. They can't like close this off and then force the defenders to to shoot it. Um, and I don't see self, I don't see defenders ever shooting it either, because I think defenders want to keep the crossfire available uh, on mid, right? Like you play like a contact angle here, like 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 this or something, or on the other side. And as soon as this person like contacts, then you have someone, or like maybe as soon as this person contacts actually, then you have someone swing mid. Like, I don't see the defenders ever wanting to close it, unless like obviously there's a situation where this person dies right, instantly, and there's only one person mid, and maybe you want to close this, but then you also lose the ability to control mid. So you may have to have a rotator through here to end mid. I know it's very, very uh, interesting thing that's new, so it's going to be hard to like figure it out. And not really hard, but like it's going to take some time to figure it out. Um, so on to mid. So this is in my opinion like what Breeze mid should have looked like anyway. So and I can tell that they got inspiration from Breeze. The reason why is because essentially there's like a top mid is like elevated, bottom mid is is not that not elevated. Um, there's like a bit in the middle. Right here. Um, and generally, um, this is more onto the new Breeze is that this mid is definitely defense sided in that they have more options in mid. Um, and they can also contest mid better. Um, but eventually the attackers, if they decide to commit util to it, will be able to take mid. Um, and that's kind of what I think New Breeze is as well. So um, I think they actually did pretty well on mid. I, th I think the very important thing about, about Valorant in general is to make high interest areas that aren't the sites that may help you take a site or definitely will help you take a site or get map control in some capacity. Um, and then make sure that the attackers have to use util to get it. So therefore, they would have to basically put it in the defender's favour at the start of the round. So then the attackers have to expend um, utility to then take that site or take that, that place. Um, to then make the site hold easier positionally. Or sorry, site take easier positionally so they would have right, mid. Yeah. So therefore, they can go B through market. 
However, they would have less util to actually take the site itself and play retake. Right, so that's like the trade-off they have. They have a better position on taking the site because they've decided to commit util mid. Um, but then they have less for retake and actually taking the actual site. But their positional uh, like advantage should be enough to take the site anyway. And that's kind of like how I see it and how, how I think maps should be designed for the most part. Unless they have a particular gimmick that nullifies that or makes that lesser or makes that even stronger to a point where it actually is not the right way to play or something. Um, but um, we're going to go over to... Uh, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this part mid first. So this is like very weird to me because I feel like if you have a smoke here, here. as defenders, then you can actually walk out mid and like contest this area if you want to. Like, it's not out of the realm of possibility. And the funny thing is, is the, way, the way it, like, connects up for attack is that I feel like they'll be the slowest one here if they decide to make that play out the gate. Um, aside from, actually, I think here, maybe not. I just read it. Never mind. Uh, they won't be the slowest one here because these people will be here faster. But you'll, you'll take a fight probably at this corner. I don't know 100% of the timings, though. I'd have to look into it while I play the map, probably. Find the timings. Um, but yeah, the, the timings are pretty crazy, I think, for the fence to actually get into this area. I think it's pretty cool. There's a window here as I'll throw you till through for mid. Generally, I think this is like a tack side space, but I can see defenders contesting it if they wanted to. Um, because, you know, it's mid. So uh, in this map, I think mid is going to be very, very important on this map. So defenders contesting it is not um, completely alien. Let's go over to CT or T spawn. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just not much. They've got like this walk up here to go into B. Walk up here to go to A, and then they can cross in the midsection. Right they have less uh, low tech. I think they have like uh, slower rotations than defense do. The defend defense can uh, uh, rotate faster. Um, bear in mind that if they control right this area anyway, um, which means that you know if if they can if attack control any of mid and can see this angle, then I think defense have slower rotations. But otherwise, they have faster rotations, which I think is how it should go. Um, as well, I I really like the map's design. I think it's really good. It's very different. Um, speak, well, the very different part is going to be now, um, which I'm not sure if I like that much. I like kind of like this part of the map, like this left side. And then when we go into A, I'm a bit skeptical on how this is going to work. Um, so I'm going to go over the fence first. Um, and so we've got like this little run down here to A site. Um, and for, for like retaking, this area is pretty bad. Like like one angle and no elevation so i can imagine retaking this site from this position alone is going to be hard however i think there's this position that makes it a lot easier so not necessarily i guess because there's only one once again one angle but until you once you get out here like it should be fairly easier to like retake i think or like it should be fairly easy once like you're starting to retake like these like outer parts right um and then i'll talk about the take of the site when we're on attack but but I also think defending the site in general is pretty easy. I think it's one of the more defendable sites because on top of that as well, on retakes, on retakes, the enemy team, or sorry, the attacking team, will have to like occupy right like these type of spaces, right here. which is like really hard for them to do um, in comparison to like other, parts of, like other parts of other maps or even this map. Like for instance, on B, there's like right a, this here. big line here that they can use to, to like contest the bomb. On A, they don't have that. They have like here, right here and they have here. Right here and i guess they have ct and maybe a link actually i'm not sure if the sight line supports that oh it does actually so they, they have this sort of area too so this might be the most popular plant with a with a um like a, a flank from mid or like with like a, a mid split like contest um or like they might just try and hold like this sort of area from the rotators right and then hold this area for the right plant here. here that might be a possibility it might be a bit hard in execution so it might not even go that like people that might not do that especially in, in ranked but in competitive they might try it um it might just be a bit too hard to bother with though and they might just decide to go be every round is there for, i can see how this map will go sometimes is that i think they're just going to go be every round i think it just makes the most sense um with a because a seems a bit annoying to, to take um, and also it seems annoying to hold on the retake but for defenders it's a different story right because they don't have to populate those positions because they're not defending from inside the site or like but they're only defending from like this choke right point, here. right? And I feel like it's easier to defend when you've got like you can basically put like a smoke here, and then you've got like a choke there, and then you can put a smoke there, and there's also a choke right there, here. and they've got a choke here. 
Bear in mind you're going to lose this choke fight quite fast probably if they actually if, if attack want it because of these windows as well. They can flash through where they can do all these things. And defense can as well. The problem is is that if they, they flash through this window, the barrier is here. So the attackers aren't really going to see your flat. Like if they decide to like peek out, like if they're looking at this position in this position, they're not going to see their flash. Flash is not going to flash them. And by that time, they're already up here. So, And this is quite wide too. So I don't think you can even get a full flash here. Oh, sorry, a full smoke here. So... I think generally, like it's going to be interesting to defend this site too. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to play out. Interesting is kind of a non-word, but what I mean by that is it's going to be completely different, uh, and that I think it's going to be a learning experience for ranked players and competitive players um, to play with a site like this because this site is not even one you see on CS either. So it's going to be one that's going to be a learning curve for sure. Um, the the orb once again is attack sided, so. Both the both both orbs being attack sided means that you will probably won't see agents like Phoenix as much, um, maybe Yoru as well, um, because they usually want to have it fairly split or they want to have um, multiple ones on defense. The reason why they want it on defense because on attack, right, they can spearhead attacks, they can get orbs a bit more tutored um, generally, but on defense, it's a lot harder for them to find the action as much because they could just pick the wrong site essentially. So I doubt we're going to see in as much Phoenix and Yoru on this map um, because it's a lot easier for them to get attack orbs anyway. Um, so they can maybe get a lot of attack, a lot, a lot of uh, ults on attack, I guess. But on defense, they're going to be very, very difficult to play because they're not going to have the high value ults. Um, obviously, Yoru has more to him than that, to be fair. But Phoenix, for sure, is definitely going to be suffering on this map, on defense especially. So I wouldn't see him at all. Um, simply, honestly, simply because of the 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 uh, I haven't even looked at, like the map stuff, like like what where where you can ult from, where you can flash from, etc., etc. Even disregarding that, the orbs not being in his favor is quite a massive hit to him, um, which is also one of the reasons why he's so weak, because he's reliant so much on his ult. Um, this is not a Phoenix video anyway. This is a Sunset video. Um, so generally, uh, this also reminds me of Train on CS, where it's got like the like on, on Train you got like this sort of corridor. This reminds me a lot of that. Um, but I can't say there's much else that, I mean, this, this site doesn't remind me as much else, so, yeah, I think generally this, this map is pretty crazy, I, I think the, the A site is going to be very interesting to learn, um, and I think B and mid are definitely inspired by reworked Breeze, as they're making them at the same time, obviously I could be wrong, and there could just be similar, like, like, complete coincidence, but yeah, I think generally this map is pretty cool, oh, there's a skylight here, I didn't even realise, so, line up Larry's, like me, Line up through here. Obviously not like that, but you know what I mean. There's there's tons of lineups we probably do. Maybe Kale flashes, Sky flashes. I mean, it's so much Sky. Actually, it might not be that relevant for them anyway, because I'm not sure how this map. This this site is not going to be defended like a normal site anyway. It's going to be a retake type of situation where people are going to be playing it here. Maybe you'll have one player just chilling here, ready to take a fight or something. Maybe you'll have a player like chilling here as well, ready to take fights close. There's going to be. It's gonna be. There's not gonna be. Oh, maybe here fighting, but that just seems awful angle. Um, I don't think there's gonna be much like on the site. It's gonna be contesting. So yeah. Okay, that's it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, and I'll see you in my next one.